Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Backpack Hack Channel. Today I want to talk to you about a couple pieces of equipment that if you spend any appreciable amount of time outdoors or you're a prepper, you may want to look into getting these things. And that is a dehydrator and a vacuum sealer. This is a, an Excalibur 5-tray dehydrator. And this is a Weston vacuum sealer. I'll put a link to the manufacturer's websites in the description below so you can see what I use. Uh, I can recommend these. Um, but the best advice I can give you is do your homework Understand what the different features are, what is a good feature, what's a worthless feature, what works for you, what would be something that doesn't work for you, and try to make an educated decision. Don't go running off and buying one at Costco or Sam's Club for $40 just because they have it on clearance. Do your homework, make an intelligent decision. Spend the money, buy the best that you can afford, and you'll be happy with it. If you buy one and just use it to put away your Thanksgiving leftovers once a year, you're not going to see the economics of it. But if you commit to using these, and use them religiously and well, it can save you money in the long run. Um, a lot of people complain about the cost of the bags for vacuum sealer. Yes, they are more expensive than your standard Ziploc bags, but I haven't used these yet because I haven't found a use for them. Buy your bags in rolls, and I buy them online whenever I can find them super, super cheap. This is just a small sample of the rolls that I have handy sitting around the house. So when I come across a sale at the grocery store, I'm not running down to the store and buying the premium price bags, which basically negate any savings that I have. The biggest advantage is, is you get a lot long-term savings in storage of your food. I mean, we've all got these kind of things, and they're great for throwing leftovers in after a meal and finishing them up tomorrow. But for long-term storage, these are just not going to do the trick. Um, another thing you can do is, get, if you're into prepping, you can do Mylar bags. This is a bag of 51 gallon. There's also 50 oxygen absorbers in here. And I can vacuum seal for long-term storage in one of these. Uh, another advantage is you can make your own trail meals. And I make a lot of my own trail meals. Now, it's not that I have anything against the commercially available ones. These are great. Um, there's nothing really wrong with them. I'm not anti-commercially available meal, but the problem is I either don't like that meal, it's something that I just don't care to eat, or it's a portion that I'm not comfortable with. It's either too much or too little. When I make my trail meals, I can make it exactly the way I want it with the ingredients I like and in a portion size that works best for me. Another advantage is, is I know what's in my meal. Let's take a look at the ingredients here. Niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine mononitrate. What the heck is this stuff? I can tell you what's in my beef stew without an ingredients list. It's got beef, potatoes, green beans, peas, corn, and carrots. That's it. There's no salt, there's no flavoring, there's no preservatives. Uh, I probably packaged this probably about six, eight months ago in a vacuum seal bag. And I know what's in it. It's a ser perfect serving size for me. I know how to make it. And there's nothing unhealthy in here. It's just meat and vegetables, pure and simple. As in terms of dehydrating, this is just some of the stuff I grabbed out of my refrigerator. Here's uh, uh, some peas. I use that in my uh, stew. This is spaghetti sauce uh, that I dehydrated about ten, five months ago. And this is about the equivalent of two of the large jars, not the little ones, but the large jars, uh, potatoes, carrots, green beans, strawberries, roast beef, I dehydrate that, uh, salsa sauce, I, I have that for uh, chips and dip when I'm out on the trail. This is just some of the stuff that I dehydrate. I didn't get everything out because there's no sense in showing you all of that. But the nice thing, like I said, is when you start getting the ingredients, my philosophy is, is you dehydrate the ingredients. You don't dehydrate a meal, you dehydrate the ingredients, and then you can put the meal together. Because the roast beef, I'll use in my beef stew, I use it uh, in a hot beef sandwich. So by having the ingredients, same thing with the potatoes. I use potatoes in here, I also use potatoes in breakfast meals. Uh, so by doing the ingredients, you can basically combine your uh, dehydrated ingredients into a complete meal. In terms of the vacuum sealer, um, again, it will save you money. Here is some uh, 
85% ground beef that I purchased 13 months ago. Local grocery store will have a sale on a 10 pound tube for about 40% off the regular price. I'll go ahead and buy three or four tubes, break it down into one pound packages and two pound packages, vacuum seal, put it in the freezer. And just a couple of weeks ago, I took a pound out and I made some goulash. And of course I made a lot of goulash. So the uh, onions and tomatoes and the ground beef that is in my goulash, the ground beef came out of this, this batch. This, the ground beef that's in here is over a year old, but it's been uh, vacuum sealed. And this is gonna pretty much stay in my freezer for a long, long time. I mean, I could probably eat this in another year or two and not have a problem. Another advantage to vacuum sealing things is when you do it like this, whenever I go on an extended vacation, other than just an overnight trip, every meal I make or take with me is vacuum sealed. Even if it comes in a commercially available package, I repackage it in a vacuum sealer. This way, when it goes into the cooler to stay fresh, I don't have to worry about it getting, getting water in it. It's very, very easy for these Ziploc bags to come open because they're made to be open. This, you can't just tear it open. You've got to get a pair of scissors or a knife out. That's how tough this stuff is. It takes quite a bit more to puncture or open one of these than it does one of these. That's another advantage. So I would say uh, if you spent any amount of time outdoors, look into getting a, a dehydrator and a vacuum sealer Commit yourself to using them, and you're going to save a lot more money than you think you are. Plus, you're like I say, you're going to have meals that are specifically tailored towards you because you control the ingredients, you control um, what you put in it, you make it the way you like it, and you also make it a serving size that you like, that is made specifically for you. So this is Backpack Hacks coming at you with this trail tip. Uh, you may want to look into getting a, a dehydrator and a vacuum sealer. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.